Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are launching my uh, or our uh, maneuvering evaluation next month, so let's continue on. And it's an experimental payload. We have 85% reliability on launch and 69% on the payload. Let's go. Let's go. Weather is looking fine. Adequate conditions. 4% critical risk. So let's get this puppy into space. Go! Alright, cleared the tower. And we're going. It is looking good. Very nice. No booms. No booms. Alright, 76% close to getting a positive event. Alright, maneuvering evaluation. Let's see, we have some drift that we need to contend with. We need 12, 17 and 12. We can have absolutely no drift. Okay. So if we do that and that, then we can do that, and we can do that. That gives us 8, 3, and 1, and no drift. So manual data collection went well. Uh, experiments went well. The orbital realignment could have been better. Uh, we're going to resist that. And oh, got an extra comms out of that. All right, very good, very good. So, I think we'll do something similar to get a ton of comms. Yeah. All right. And experiments went well. Orbital alignment was off again. We're not very good at orbital realigning. Data transmission went fine. There, we're up to 16 comms now, but only six and two. But. We're going to do this again. Then we'll do that again. And then we'll do that. So that takes us to 18, 11, and 5. And we can do this twice more. The external sensor alignment. So that gets us well on our way to where we want to be. All right. OK. And there. And the external sensor alignments went well and well. Well, again. All right. So we can do two of these. That takes us there. Then. We can do that and that. That gives us our bonus. We have two resists. And we are right on the money with the drift. So, okay, one resist right off the bat. Dang it. And then we get a bonus. And the signal return test went well. And then we need to resist the last one, which we can do. And we don't actually need to. But we will. All right, task complete. Achieve Earth orbit. Next task, perform controlled re-entry. All right, and we'll have heat to play with here. One to four heat per turn, and it can be a maximum of three.
We can't even do that. We need we don't need data at all, but it's quite useful for doing this. We need twenty one and eighteen. Jesus. Alright. Confirm. Alright. Conducting experiments. Done. Ground control connection was off. Let's resist it. And the ground control connection was good. Okay. And how much heat do we get? Three. So... We need to do that. And we basically need to do that. Then we can do this. Hmm. And this. All right, so that takes us to 16 and seven. <sighs> Let's resist it. Come on! You're supposed to fail one out of three. All right. Okay. How much heat do we get? Three. I don't need to recharge. We have three turns remaining. Actually, let's do this instead. And then we can do that. And then we can recharge a couple of times, and that'll give us some stuff to work with here. So let's do that. All right, nice. A little bonus there. Push the buttons. Very good. And extra comms. Data transmission went well, and we're up to five heat now. So we need to do that. And then we need to do this twice. And then we can recharge. So we have one resist. And we just need to do it once next time. So let's do this. Ping location was good. Fire over force adjustment, good. Another flyover course adjustment. Very good. And the heat takes us up to four, but it doesn't matter because we don't need to worry about it. So what we can do is that. Actually, what we can do is that. That'll take us up there and it'll fix the heat problem. And give us the bonus. And the heat wasn't even a problem, but we just decided to fix it anyway. And there we go. Controlled re-entry done. Very nice. Splash down and pick up. Very good. All right, so that's 882 signs for four months. We have the improved directional stabilization and quite a bit of support as well. Very good. Very good indeed. And Mendez, Rossi, and Cabon are recuperating. All right. Now, next month, we get the Sire complete. So I am actually thinking that we wait one month and then we start working on the uh, first step of the modular space station. 
Yeah. Sire so research complete. And the space welding payload is complete. Launch reliability goes down. Payload reliability is horrible. And then we have the life support test vehicle, which is complete. So, Massa, you are going up. Training, we'll do launch reliability, I think. Yeah, they're basically even. And we'll go up in February. Confirm. Then we have space welding, where we need to make a vessel. Um, see, the shuttle costs 1.7 mil. When we can just re reuse this and even make it cheaper by using the Gina and then using the composite casings. That takes us down to 952,000. So I think we'll do that. And... Uh, what was this for? This was for the space welding. So let's call, call it uh, Welder uh, Bob the Welder. We'll call it Confirm. Confirm. Did we put the. Yeah, we did put the composite casings on. Five months. Alright. And for research. I think we're going to do the Saturn flyby. Uh, let's see, Saturn flyby, no one has that research. Uh, Jupiter flyby, uh, Soviet Union already has the research. So let's do the Saturn flyby. Try and get first. And then we can plan a little mission here for the modular space station. Very nice. Nice support, nice science, good Mars experience, and we get the International Space Station. To construct a fully operational modular space station, you must complete the, required, the three required milestone missions. Once constructed, the modular space station will generate monthly rewards for a substantial amount of time. 150 science and 50 support for 300 months. Okay. That is nice. Let's plan this mission. And I want the power hungry one. Maybe more expensive, quite a bit more expensive. 900,000 more expensive, but I want the extra power. Like that page is host and build it. Okay, let's go to the next month where we'll get a Mariner 1 complete for the atmospheric sampling on Venus. Reasonable reliability on it. And we can reuse this one and just switch over to the Gina. And we can reduce the costs. And that seems reasonable to me. Confirm. Build vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, funding review in a month. Then we have the life support test. Then we have Bob the Welder, then we have a light in our planets, which is sort of renamed, and then the Sarya is complete. Okay, next month. Budget review, we definitely hit the 28,500. We even hit the 35,000, so we go up to 561,000 per month. 
Nice. That was very nice indeed. We're making 315000 a month now. That is not half bad. That is not half bad. Vesta Relativity Experiment. By measuring the time for a radio signal to reach Earth from the orbiter accompanying your Mars lander, Vesta, United Space Nerds researchers have managed to prove that the Sun's gravitational field causes a delay. The result confirms predictions made by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Nice, gain 500 science. I'll take it. Saturn flyby research complete. Little is known about Saturn and its enigmatic rings. Launching a probe to perform a close flyby of the planet capturing images as well as electromagnetic and temperature readings will aid our understanding of the nature of the rings and of the planet itself. Very nice. All right. And we have the life support test, which is ready to launch. 81% launch reliability, 70% payload reliability. I think we're fine. It's a beautiful day for it. Launched a light inner planet. Ugly name, February 1977. Okay. And we have good conditions, 3% risk of going boom, and 8% risk of something negative had happening. Let's go. Don't go boom, because there are people on board. Alright. So far, so good. Get through Max Q. Get up there, buddy. Yeah, baby. No problem. And we even get a positive effect. Nice. Plus one turn on first task and mission. That is a very, very nice positive. Okay. So life support tests. February 1977. Uh, all right. We have our crew. One dude who's up there all alone. We need to collect some comms and some nav. Some comms and some nav. So I think I have three commands per turn. So let's use our crew here. Then we'll use our gain data there. And Then hmm. I think I'll use a power to get two more comms. Okay. Ground control connection is good. And signal return test is excellent. Very good. So that actually takes us over. So I want to use this thing because we need quite a lot of nav and we don't really have a good way of getting it. Don't really have a good way of getting it. Other than this. So... What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Hmm. I think. I'll spend here. Yeah. That takes us up to eight and two and two. That works. And there we go. And the flyover course adjustment again is good. Very nice. So we can do one of these manual trajectory updates, then we can do a ground control connection. Uh, 
and a signal return test. Alright, ground control connection, all good, we are connected. The signal return test didn't go so well, but we can resist that. Okay. So if we just do this now, we are actually there. We have succeeded with two with a turn remaining. So not bad. So, but we did have the extra turn. So we're we did it in the time allocated, more or less. Very good. And that's the mission complete. And we have Splashdown for the Mercury capsule. It's not very often we send Mercuries into space. Alright. Human orbit. 1980 plus the bonus. 2,970. Uh, or 2,970,000, I should say. We have more than 10 million, and Massa is recuperating. Now, we need to do the Voyager payload. So we'll do that. And we now have a mission slot available. Bob the Welder is going up in two, then we have something going up in three. Saya is complete in five. Uh, let's have a look here. Lunar radiation, not that interesting. Um, control systems check. Space welding, we already have that ongoing. This isn't bad science. But do we have something somewhere else? Doesn't seem like it. We have, we have something on Mars. Atmospheric sensors. Astronauts will survive a critical launch failure. That's very nice science. But it also takes a long time where the control systems check doesn't take a long time. It's a one month mission. So we're going with that. Build that payload. And next month. Skylab crew return. United Space Nerds astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the space station Skylab. Astronaut Jadius's infamous fear of spiders has been a popular topic in the media. My crewmate removed a spider from its box and claimed it had escaped. The astronaut complained in a television, televised interview. I hid in the escape capsule. <laughs> uh, gained 300 support. Very nice. Good work, Jadius. Okay. Next month, I guess. And we have the space welding vehicle complete. Let's plus 5% launch reliability. Not bad. Let's... See who do we have available? We well, Jadius, you're going up again, and so is Arias and our electrician Ward. So it's the same three. You three who are just on the space station, you are going together again. You turned out to be a really good team on the space station. So let's do it. Actually, I am going to do payload reliability, because look at that reliability, that sucks. And then I think we're going to launch way over here to get some more reliability on it. Yeah. Do it. Confirm. Then the Mercury is complete next month. The other four major space agencies have approached, have approached your agency, proposing international collaboration in the construction and use of your prospective 
modular space station. Accepting the proposal would grant your agency 500, uh, 5 million towards future mission costs, though your advisors note that the other agencies would receive significant science from gaining access to the station. I kind of feel like we need to do that. It's the International Space Station. I mean, if it's not the International Space Station, then it's just the National Space Station, and that's not as interesting as the International Space Station. So we're going to accept this. Uh, we got 25 reputation with the other agencies, and we got 5 million. So we now have 15.8 million. That is not bad. We can afford to go to space for a while yet. All right, control systems, check payload complete. Again, a really unreliable payload. And atmospheric's sampling vehicle is complete. So let's do some launch prep. 100% training bonus. So I think we're going with science because these numbers are fine. And we'll go in September. Confirm. Going in four months. We have control systems check where we need to go up. And I think we'll choose the Ariane 1. So that only costs 340k. The launch reliability is fine. The payload reliability is uh, sucks, but uh, I think it's fine. So this is what we're going up in. Nice and cheap, 340,000, four months. Beautiful. Build that puppy. Okay. So Saria is complete in two months. Ariane 1 is complete in four. Launch the atmospheric sampling in four and launch the spell wing, uh, space welding in four. So it's a busy time. And where are we? We need to get all the way to 42,500, so that's a ways off. That is a way off. All right, modular space station one, payload complete. Uh, minus 15% launch liability for level zero vehicle parts. So we're not doing that. Minus 50% build time for level zero vehicle parts. All right, let's design the vehicle. And I th think, we can design a shuttle for this. Sixty-two percent launch liability. They are level zero, but it makes it so much faster. We're going with the Hermes here. And what's this? Half the chance of negative event during launch. I don't so much care about the negative event. I care more about The catastrophic event, critical event. Ooh, horse. Okay. Very important Egyptian god. So, are we doing this? 1.487. Let's. see the only things that can do it is this these two so it'll take 13 months and cost about the same right let's go back confirm so 1.4 so it's cheaper it's faster it's a little bit less reliable Let's do it. All right, Horus is complete in nine months. Okay, we have a new mission over here. Five and a half million lucrative mission. We have enough money right now, but that's only for a while until we spend it all. <laughs> So, doing a lucrative mission over there might not be a bad thing. Voyager research complete. Nice. 
Optimal and suboptimal launch windows are reversed. This is the control systems check. Space welding is ready to go. And so is atmospheric sampling. Let's launch atmospheric sampling. 65% launch reliability, 70 halo, 8% risk of going boom, 24 of a negative event. Let's go. We had reasonably good conditions, adequate conditions for the plus four. So it was pretty good. Let's see how it goes. We are clear of the tower and we are pushing up there. It's looking good. It's looking good, and we are in space. And we get a secure launch, very nice. And Atlas and Agena are very, very routine uh, components to send into space now. We have some thrust that we need to get. We just need eight of it, so that's four extra comms that we need. So we need to get to 14 comms by the last turn. And that's actually it. We don't need to have any nav. So that is all good. All right. So if we do this and this, then we can do... that actually why not do that mm. yeah let's do that confirm infrared spectroscopy Wow, spectroscopy went well. Ground control connection is good. Except that. And the solar flare analysis is outstanding. Alrighty. And then... I think we'll do this because then we can do this twice. That gets us to 10 comms. Confirm. Wow. 3% man. Uh, will be reduced by one. I, do I care about that? Yes, I do. Assist it. All right. Data transmissions were good. Okay. Then we need... So we can do a recharge. Then we can do a micrometeorite and a data transmission. So that takes us to where we need to be, and then we can do our two controlled burns next time without having to worry about anything, hopefully. Damn it. We'll assist that. Okay. Then we can do our two controlled burns, and we can recharge our battery. That takes us to everything that we need. Uh, for our 50% bonus reward. Oh, come on! Uh, assist. And accept. And there we go! We are on our way to Venus. Very good. 365. Science for 3 months and 212. Okay. Very good. The Voyager was completed. We 
really want to do the space telescope too. Let's do we continue on. I don't think we're in a hurry for the modular space station. Let's do the space telescope. I want the space telescope. Okay, we have a couple of missions that we need to work on. Control systems check. Um, let's send Massa up for that. We'll do science, I think. Uh, then maybe not Massa. You know what? Let's do and select Carbone instead. That'll help a bit with the uh, shitty payload. And we'll launch in January. Okay. Then we have space welding, which is ready to launch. And for that, we get auxiliary propulsion system, half the chance of a critical event during launch. Now that is quite nice. The weather is beautiful for it. Excellent conditions, plus 10%, nice. So 1% critical and 5% negative. Let's go. Get up there. Get up there, guys. Wonderful, cleared the tower. Went off the screen. We're back on the screen and we are into space. No problem. No problem. And we get a nice secure launch. But of course, I mean, it's the dream team on this uh, space welding expedition, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's the dream team that we have on board here. All right, we have some drift that we need to deal with. We need 10 and 20. We have four turns to get it. I think we'll start out like this, get a three, two, and four. Confirm. Man, that sucked. Persist it. And nice. Bonus. Okay. Now. That means that we can do this twice. Then we can do this. And we can. Then next turn we can pull back and start doing days. So, yeah. Data transmission, all good. Data transmission, all good. And manual data collection, all good. Very nice. So what we'll do is we'll do one of these, then that pulls us back on target. And then we can start doing these. I need to get to 20, so I need to do that three times next turn, and then we're good. And we can do that, so confirm. Very nice. Flyover course adjustment, very good. And another flyover course adjustment, which we'll have to assist. Because we need to do this three times, and we have nothing to assist with. Nothing. Well, it is what it is. All right, first time, didn't have to assist, very good. Second time, didn't have to resist, very good. And third time, yeah, get in there. 50% bonus award achieved. All right, so we're in orbit. Now we need to do some EVAs. We have more drift that we have to deal with. And same parameters, really, minus one to one. Now we need eight and 16, so we can do that. And 
That gives us two and five. Then we can... I think do some visual spectrum sampling. Gives us two and eight. Confirm. All right, manual data collection is good. Conducting experiments didn't go so well. Someone was all thumbs. And visual spectral sampling was all good. Okay. So let's do that. Kinda need to do that. So that we can do that. Eight and nine. And we have two turns remaining after this. I mean, nav is hard to get. Nav is hard to get. But we can get it. Alright. Ooh, ground control connection did not go well. Infrared mapping just made it. All right. So if we do one, two, three. Actually, we can just do one, two, and a recharge. Because then we can do one of these next turn. Flight path control. And a external sensor alignment, and we're done. Okay. Dang it. What do we lose? We lose a comms, which we need. So we will do that. And then we can do that. And that. And that. And that gets us there. 8, 18. 35% bonus reward achieved, and we can resist both if we need to. We don't. So we don't at all. Very nice. Lovely. Flight path control is all good, and we are in there. All right, so that's the EVAs done. Then we just need to do perform a controlled re-entry. And then we're done with the mission. So we need to control some heat here. Fluctuates between two and four. So... And we can't even do any heat management on the first turn. So that kind of sucks. Uh, we need 18 comms and six nav. So if we do like this... Um, then we can do this. And then we can do this. So that's two, two, three. All right, confirm. Nice, bonus, extra data. I would have rather have it be a comms. Uh, okay. Oh, I accept that. That was not on purpose. And accept. Okay. Heat check. We're up to five heat. So we definitely need to do this one now. There's just no two ways about it. And I'm okay with that. Then we can do a ground control connection and a data transmission. That takes us to 12 and 3. I think that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to have to resist that. And we'll resist here as well, I think. Uh, we'll reduce comms output by one. Yeah, resist it. 
And then the data transmission goes through with no problems, so that's good. All right, taking our heat to four, so we do have to do this again, which is fine. We need to do that anyway. Then we need... Uh, now, if we do a... Signal return test. We have two turns remaining. Then we can do a flyover course adjustment. And then we just need a comms next turn. So that should not be a problem. Okay, that went well. Signal return test, not so well. Let's resist it. And the flyover course adjustment didn't go so well either. Uh, actually, I can uh, accept not getting that because I'm at six. We're up to five heat, but we just need to do this and we win. So 50% bonus reward. Perfect. And there we go. Manual data collection went off without a hitch. No one screwed the pooch. Okay. Let's get back home, guys. And here we come. Shoots are fully open and splash down. Very nice. There we go. We get some nice support. 2,942 signs for five months. That is very, very nice. And an auxiliary propulsion system. So that is cool. And you guys earned your recuperation time again. So that's a lot of science. That is a lot of science. So we do have a mission slot available now, and we do have Saturn flyby researched. So let's do that. And Japan has it researched as well, but we're going to plan the mission. And we're obviously going to give it extra power. Build that. And I just want to see, it's 37 months! Jesus! That's a long time we'll be without that slot. But it is a lot of science and a lot of support. And it's a milestone. So, finish Jupiter flyby first. Uh, we should have done that instead then. Oh well. Oh well. Actually, we could switch our research to Jupiter. Uh, we'll finish it in two months, basically. And then we could do a Jupiter flyby as well. Minus 20% payload build time if we get this done. We're going to change the research to Venus orbit, get that done, so that we get the 20% uh, payload build time with reduced. That is nice. That is nice, and it will be done in a month. So, very cool. We are out of time, those guys. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.